Hello, Cletus. Righto. What's going on with this bull? Everything. Hey, bud, turn around. Turn around, turn around. You wanna open the slide gate there? Yeah. You see his big willy, and he's got a big lump there. That's gonna be an abscess. Ooh, it's already leaking. Have a look at that. A little bit of leakage. So this is what happens if you don't lance them, they end up bursting on their own. And then his willy's damaged. Come on, bud. Hop, up, up. We're gonna lance that and then flush it out. It's all about volume dilution, dilute all that yummy stuff in there, which is mostly just an overreaction to the immune system. Luckily it's swollen, the swelling kind of, go ahead and open the crush and let him in there, Matt. Yeah, it's definitely an abscess. You can see where it's, <coughs> it's starting to point down there at the bottom, it's getting ready to burst. We'll go ahead and Speed up the process for him. Thank you, thank you. You'll be using. Right, oh, let me get some stuff ready and then we'll, uh, we'll lance this. So the, the trick is, nice uh, ventral drainage. So we're gonna lance him down below. Um, pump uh, a little bit of dilute betadine in there with me uh, drench pump. Um, cover him with some antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. And then we're gonna look at that willy. Let's have a good look at that willy. Willy, willy shots. Here on willy cam, have a look at this willy. So what's happened there is he's probably got IBPPV, infectious blanopostitis, pustular vulvovaginitis, now veterinary speak for exploding dick syndrome, as I like to call it. And um, yeah, his willy's been entrapped outside of the prippy, so we'll give that a bit of a clean up, a bit of a birthday. And then hopefully it'll uh, suck back up inside and then we'll give him some sexual rest. Really critical that he doesn't try to use that thing. <sighs> Sorry, mate, I look so disappointed. All right, so we'll get set up, I'll get some stuff. We'll lance that abscess, we'll give him a willy wash, and he'll be off to the rodeo, dynamite. Better to get kicked than to get you kicked into something solid. All right, come on in, okay? All right, yeah, so if you sneak around, so you can see where it's already starting to drain. That's called pointing. So the, the skin around that area is getting soft. So their skin is has no sensation because it's got like a little bit, like if a dentist, like if you go digging around in your mouth, you're gonna feel it. Because it's distended and swollen, it's and because all the nerves and stuff have been, this is all abscess right under the skin. And that's where the skin's starting to soften. So if we don't lance this, this will get bigger and bigger until it finally bursts and it leaves a massive, big, ragged hole. So it would have been nice to get to him earlier, but as you can see, he's black and in the paddock, he doesn't sit there and stand up. Look at this, you don't really see him until you bring him into the yard. So Matt's brought him in. So we're gonna lance down here eventually, same spot. I'm gonna flush it out with some dilute betadine to break it down. Make sure there's no um, fibrin chunks in there to block drainage. Give him some alamycin and some anti-inflammatories to settle him down. And then we're gonna start working on his willy. It's gonna be awesome. Cool beans, I'll come around. And uh, I blew up my ute, and I left my scalpels in the other ute, so, but I've got, got a handy old timer there. He needs to go nice and quick. Maybe I should jump around the other side, get a yeah. bit of... Yeah, oh yeah, that's weird. Oh, and stuff. I'm just gonna drop that in my bucket. Get a bit of a rinse out. Yeah, you can smell it over here. <laughs> yeah, not, it smells like an abscess. Hey, buddy, you're okay. So might have, he might have gotten whacked by another bull. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of um, little clumps of coagulated blood and stuff in there. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and flush him out, see how we go. But. He's just gonna have to work on this himself. But now it's got a good solid egress, so it's not gonna keep undermining that skin. I'm gonna try to keep my bucket as clean as I can. I'll get some fresh 
flush that out. Some antibiotics and anti-inflammatories and then we'll start working on that willy. So we were prank testing, we do all this last and then afterwards all this will get cleaned up. Pretty good, Matt. That's coming through pretty fresh now. We'll start working on that willy. Go a little beans. We'll give it some broad spectrum antibiotics and some anti inflammatories just to help these things along. Let's get some different water. We're doing that willy. I'll give that a Chlorex soap scrub on that willy. Phoenix Willy Washing Services. For the cleanest and long in town. Tom, if you want to run this, we're just gonna give him a willy wash. If you want to <laughs> point that at his willy, I'll do the scrubbing. Here on the pump, I'll be the soapy scrubber. Down for a second, guys. Slow down, brother Tom. Slow down. Yeah, good. I'm gonna try to break up some of this stuff. So this is because his penis has been entrapped. The willy's normally about as big around as your index finger. Kind of looks like Mr. Burns's finger normally. But this one looks like Mr. Burns's finger after it's been swollen and burnt. <laughs> this is all just scab stuck to this. So from what we know, this is caused by a herpes virus bovine herpes virus type 1.1. Um, it's called infectious bovine balanopositis and pustular vulvo vaginitis, which is the Sheila side of the story. Um, but yeah, these young bulls, they get it when they're... All right, can we get a bit more spray in there? Really? Watch that back leg so it doesn't get you. Nine years of vet school <laughs> to clean a bull's dick. <laughs> just slow down there a little bit, Tom, if you don't mind. That's right. Just a little dribble drabble just to kind of rinse it off as I'm going. Ooh. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Better your friends, like who else is gonna wash your willy? <laughs> you wouldn't want your enemies doing it. <laughs> oh, 
I've never heard of exfoliating one's willy, but it's kind of what he's done, eh? He might, might be the shiniest willy in town when we're done with him, who knows? Put that thing away, son. It's not hanging out as much as it was before, eh? Hey? So if he keeps it in there and it stays nice and moist and then we cover him with some antibiotics, hopefully it'll... Hopefully it'll start... Set. All that stuff will start softening up. Tempted to put a stitch in that just to kind of hold it up, hold it in there, but <coughs> I reckon if you, you might injure it, so we'll just leave him as he is. That's a heck of a lot better looking, eh? It was kind of a scary dick before that, wasn't it? <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> Halloween Willie. <laughs> Hello, Willie. Dino might, we'll give him some antibiotics and some anti inflammatories. And Hopefully you'll be happy. So, um, yeah, probably from overusing this, as you'd ask, Kat. So he's probably getting after it. Matt reckons he told him to slow down a little bit, but he didn't listen. Both don't generally listen. But yeah, they get a few ulcers on their willy and they just keep working. It starts hurting and I mean, you know, they don't really draw the connection. They're not that bright, but willy's down here, heads up there. They just keep going and then they get a bit of swelling and that. Uh, and then that's, his penis has gotten trapped, what they call paraphimosis, wasn't able to really draw it. And um, yeah, and then it just got all, got all nasty. He's gonna push it out again. Hopefully now that it's a bit cleaned up, they'll be able to pull it in and out a little bit and uh, it'll kind of freshen up, soften up, so we can make it hard later. <laughs> <laughs> and do what he's supposed to do, which is make a baby. He's, he's a nice bull. Old P876. <coughs> all right. Why? Wait, give him some dry.